Now in uh, Docker Hub, you search for SQL Server. Uh, SQL Server is a very popular image uh, written by Microsoft and uh, to clear search. You can also search by uh, search within Google and uh, inside the Docker Hub. Okay, we have a Microsoft SQL, uh, SQL Server and uh, we have various information inside uh, this image like review, like uh, tax, tax mean version. Uh, you, you have met many kinds of version, the version for uh, Windows, the version for Linux and uh, but for Mac OS you can use the version for Cloud. Yes, uh, especially the Mac OS uh, M1 or uh, Mac Intel, Mac uh, Apple chip, you can use uh, the version, uh, the cloud version of uh, Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, so uh, you can choose uh, which you, uh, which of the version that uh, your project required and copy this tag and add to the pool, uh, add to the pool command. Uh, so, in this example, I can use uh, this version. Uh, you can copy this version and uh, use the pool command to download the image to your local PC or your host or your laptop. So, the first line here is Docker pool. Docker pool means uh, Docker download the image from the Docker Hub to your PC. You download this image to your PC, download this image to your laptop or your host. So we have a two parts. The first part is image name and the second part after the semicolon here is the image tag and mcrmicrosoft.com is the username or the Docker ID. In this case, tag means version. Uh, you open terminal and paste uh, this command line to your terminal inside your Mac OS and enter. Uh, you could download the uh, every layer from the SQL Server image. This image has multiple layers, has many layers and each layer has a unique ID. If two images has some of the same layer, then you can only download one version. This is quite uh, convenient because you, when you use uh, multiple versions of an image, so only the different is download, and then uh, it use the, the the sharing. After downloading the new image, uh, the image here is uh, now inside your PC. If you have a dedicated server, you can download to your server and now your server is called a host. Uh, you can also pull two types or two versions of uh, one at SQL Server image. So here, you can copy and paste. Yes. We pull two versions, one version for 2019, one version for 2000 and 17 yes so it will save the image of two version but the sharing image is only one yes uh, you can see the image by docker image docker image will display every image in your pc or in your host the size is quite small than uh, virtual machine. The virtual machine maybe has uh, 100 and 200 gigabyte, but here it only has 1.4 gigabyte. But inside, uh, whenever inside the image, we have a multiple image or multiple common layer, it only get the different layer. The, the common layer is sharing. You can type docker image uh, dash quiet to see fewer information. 
So in this case, it only see uh, the the image ID only by using dash dash quiet. You can remove the image by using RME. RME means remove image. Uh, by using image ID, you paste the image ID. Uh, it's so error because it has the container. So you can use minus F. Minus F is false. But in this case, you must remove container firstly. You can remove container firstly, then you remove the uh, image by, by, by using docker IME. Firstly, docker I, I mean remove the container, the existing container. So if you have existing container, you can remove force by using container ID. Then, then docker ps, docker ps to show on running container. Docker ps, that's a to show every container. So no container here. Then you can delete uh, the image by using docker ime. Docker IME and uh, image name, Docker IME and uh, image ID is okay. It's the same. The results are the same. So, in this case, we only have two image SQL Server 2019 and SQL Server 2017. We only have two image. Now we create container from image. We have two images and we can create multiple uh, container from image. So one image we can create and one or many container. Or one image from one image we can create multiple containers. We use uh, Docker run. Docker run minus D. Minus D mean detach mode. Detach mode means run in background. After the detach mode you, is an image name. When your lines is long, you can cut this line by typing backslash. Backslash in macOS in uh, Ubuntu, but in Windows it is the power. Yes, the power characters mean the six six. This command in uh, pull the uh, we pull the image and run uh, the container from this image and run in background mode. Minus E. What is minus E? Minus E is environment variable. E means environment. So minus E we have multiple environment variable. For example, uh, username, password database name etc so first we, we have uh, the accept uh, value is yes the second is sa password sa password means the super user or the system administrator password or sa sa or system uh, system administrator password maybe here we have uh, uppercase, we have all lowercase, we have special characters, we have numbers. Does that name mean the container name? Uh, we, 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 uh, we should specify the container name because uh, with container name you can uh, use it to start and stop container, delete this container and the name here may be uh, SQL Server 2019 container you, you can use your own name yes uh, it depends on your uh, project the minus p p mean map port port uh, it means what is the map in the container and what is the map in uh, your pc yes uh, here 1433 is uh, the port in the container and one four three five is a port in your PC or your host. So minus P is map the port from the 
uh, container port to your PC or your host port, your PC port, your laptop port. Okay. Okay. So now you copy this code, open terminal, clear, and paste your command here, and then type enter. Yes. Some uh, the return value is the uh, container ID after creating uh, container successfully it display the container ID the container ID is a long string yes you can copy this container ID and uh, do various command with the container ID it is container ID but you can use container name. Container name is quite more convenient than container ID because you can control which container uh, in this network, where the container in this network, etc. Now you type docker ps to see the running container. So now we have SQL Server 2019 container is running. Uh, it is running for about one minute ago. Uh, you can call the docker ps minus a to display every con container in your host or in your PC. You can use two kind of uh, container ID, lots, uh, short form and long form is the same. So we copy the short form of container ID and type docker logs and then the docker logs so uh, every command running we can running inside the terminal of the containers so here I can see that the master database is created the uh, msdb is upgraded etc but uh, you do not see any error here mean that the container is started successfully now you open web browser and data, Azure Data, data Studio. Uh, Azure Data Studio is a tool which allows you to manage to access to your SQL Server database to the uh, database instance to send command like create table, create database, uh, select stuff from any table inside the database. It's quite convenient like uh, it is something like the SQL uh, Management Studio. So copy this command, drag and drop to your application. In Windows, uh, it is quite easy to install. You can download the setup file, press next, 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 and the region is okay. Then you can open and run Azure Data Studio now. So maximize this instant required extension and you you can add a new connection the new connection has the server IP address and server name the second part is the uh, port so weak port uh, it is a port of your, your PC not container port it is your PC port or your host port not container port so one four three nine in this case in your PC you can change as you like but uh, the container ID uh, the, the container port is always one four three three and you copy the password the system administrator password and pass here the username is SA or System Administrator or SA. And press connect to connect to your database. Okay, good. It's so every system database like a master, like the TAM, I guess, and you can, you can create your old database by accessing your new query and type uh, a command to create database. Yes, you can zoom in and zoom out by, by pressing command plus and command minus. You create a database name uh, test db. Okay, 
by typing create database test db and execute yeah successful uh, you can also switch to this database by typing use test db a semicolon choose this and run okay and you can also create table inside the test db so the table name here may be tbl mean table tbl student uh, save every information of a specific uh, student maybe student id uh, student id is integer and auto increment or identity one and increment by one uh, the second field is uh, student name is a unicode variable characters or n racha n racha mean unicode racha variable characters and the age here it integer and it is a constraint the constraint for uh, this table or this field is check constraint or uh, the age must be bigger than zero and you insert some of the data and you can also query the data inside the TBL student by select star from TBL student. Yes, only see the field because no data here. You insert by typing insert into uh, TBL student. Uh, firstly, student name, secondly, age, and the value uh, in this order. For example, yes, my name is Huang. Okay. The second is paid, uh, page page forty four, and press execute, and then execute select star from TBL student, press F five, yes, yeah, okay, here yeah, so the database, uh, so so the data is saved here inside the containers inside the database container. And you can also see you type docker ps again to see the, con the, the running containers. You copy the container ID or container name and type docker stop. Yes. Docker stop will stop the containers. Uh, the value here is uh, the container name, it means that. The command is successfully successful. Uh, when you type docker ps dash a, you can see the stopped container here. Dash a means so every running or stopping containers. So if you type the command here, uh, then the output is null because the, 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 the connection here is unavailable yes the connection here is unavailable now because you stop the containers so now you start the container by docker start container name yes and you refresh this connection again by pressing refresh okay so we, we can see the test db you switch to the test db by use and you select start from tbc TBL student and you can see the data is thin available here. Yes. It is quite convenient to install uh, SQL Server using uh, Docker because it can run in multiple platforms in Mac OS, in Ubuntu, in Windows, etc. Very convenient for developer and software engineering. Use, um, I, I can save a code here.